Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. It's Maverick here with another episode of the Misfit of Demon King Academy. We're on episode 12 now, and that means it's the penultimate episode, uh, which actually took me by surprise a little bit once I realized this, because this means that there's another episode after this one, right? And judging by what, what was going on last episode, right, we're finally getting a big reveal in regards to the identity of Eleanor, and presumably what actually happened 2,000 years ago, because she know some information in regards to Canon and his reincarnations, uh, you wouldn't think that there would be one more episode. So this actually tells me that probably another situation is going to arise in this episode, which Annas and company needs to take care of. Um, and as for what that situation could be, my best guess would be perhaps uh, another one of Canon's reincarnations, because so far we've only seen four or five, right? Five if you do want to count the Headmaster, which I do count, since he does have the Canon name within his name as well. I would presume that most people are not going to allow you to use the Canon surname um, if you aren't actually one of the re reincarnated heroes, right? So that means two more, um, and... Yeah, I, I f have a feeling they might show up before the end of this season. Or we could get a big uh, antagonist reveal, right? Who is the mastermind behind all this? In any case, let's jump into the episode and see if we can make some sense of what happened in the past. Alright, let's begin in 3, 2, 1, play. All of the class? Weren't you already out of it yourself? Why are you suddenly here again? Well, hello, cutie. And of course, we gotta have the opening first. Uh, I presume Eleanor will also be able to help and heal Misha's injuries. Hopefully. Why was she able to, to appear on campus, though? Like, a few episodes back. And even meet up with Anos and talk to him, guide him around and all that. Like, what was she doing there? Or is she just being manipulated in a sense? Uh, manipulated as in, you know, somebody's putting some restrictions on her. So maybe she can't go against humans or something like that? da 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 Alright, let me use this a minute to blow my nails a little bit. Ugh. Excuse me. My nose has been acting up. <sighs> Do tell. Clone humans?
No, I thought it was just purely because their source wasn't destroyed. And since they're reincarnations of canon, they can just immediately go. You know, the Jagger dude. You know, say what you want about this Jaya dude, but he's certainly strong if he's able to manipulate magic to this, this degree. I I wasn't What just like that? And he's the hero cannon. When he just reincarnate? You would think being the hero who can go up against the Demon King... Wait, so who are the cannons now? So that commander is also here now. It's literally just his sister. So who was the one who was looking at him in the shadows and stuff? I thought the main antagonist still existed. Killing what? Weren't you at peace with the demons for the last 2,000 years? Mom? Oh, come on. Yeah, what, what were they killing? The Great Wall separated the demons and humans. Were they killing each other? I have so many more questions. This conversation just brought up even more questions. Like, I could have already presumed that Kanon was betrayed by his sensei, right? His teacher, the commander. Is subordinates? Who? Oh, it's the rest of the seven?
Oh. Oh wait, no, no, no. This is the. Wait, this is actually the the main antagonist we've been seeing so far, right? Oh, sucks to be you. This is the Avalos. Okay, I see. So, uh, I think perhaps both sides have someone who is, uh, who isn't content with how things were, were progressing, right? On the human side, it was Jerga who, who wants the humans to continue fighting against the demons. And then on Anus' side, there are probably some demons that Didn't like the fact that Anos was having a truce with with humans. <laughs> See, this is what I was presuming would happen all along. At the end of this, we would have both sides starting to fight against each other. What is Anna's gonna do? Yo, know, technically that's true. <laughs> oh. Uh, so this projection is in the demon land. Oh, they're back? Is he literally going to fight both sides at the same time? Still, who is that Avos guy? He certainly... Hmm. Or did this... Does this plot go even deeper than imagined? And here I was thinking that, you know, that commander actually had the, uh, actually had the ability to manipulate both sides. But apparently not. Okay, maybe we should focus on this cute little moment between these two.
Isn't she going to the front line as well? I mean, I hate to break that that heartfelt woman moment by them, but they're both going to the front lines. <laughs> yeah, he is taking on them both. Don't die and don't kill. Damn, that is hard. That is really hard. <laughs> Literally a bunch of clones. Do they seriously have even more power than the army of the demon forces? And not killing them as well? Seriously? <laughs> well, I guess this is a world of heroes. Um, well, heroes and anti-heroes? Or demi-heroes? Or something? <laughs> like literally just teleport there all right who exactly is Annas Just like that? <laughs> that was fast! This is mm. It's literally the Great Wall once again. Alright, who are you, Avils? using a holy sword as well. Oh, 
Why? I mean, Anus has his own, like, main demon sword, right? Oh, wait, is it? It's literally canon? Wait, it's Ray, isn't it? Yeah, it's... Holy shit! No, I was expecting Ray to be... canon, right? I've been saying that for a long time, but... The one behind all this? Oh, hey. And there seems to be, like, a lot more after the end as well. So... Uh, let's just, let's just go through this. There seems to be more after the ending. Like, what? Ray? Ah, I see. Is it because, uh, he became disheartened by the humans? Right? Because he was betrayed by them, even though he fought for them? And so now he's thinking that all the humans must be destroyed, something like that? Yeah. I think that's probably what what this entire thing is. Damn. But see, that's I don't I don't The thing I don't really get is that if he's the hero, right? So potentially he would never have been actually killed. He can't be killed as long as one of his sources remain. So even during that scene where he was betrayed, nothing would really happen. Or maybe, so that's why I'm saying perhaps it's just a case of, you know, he's like, his heart was overcome by darkness or whatnot, and so now he can't stand humans anymore. Alright. Continuing on. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It was kind of fishy that he was the only one. Wait, but if this is revealed here, are we actually going to get a complete ending in the next episode? So basically he's pissed off at the humans. And that's basically it. Alright. See you guys after this. Okay. So we've got a lot of things happening in this episode. Um, some which were not too much of a surprise. But one thing that was a really, really big surprise here. So I'm talking about uh, Canon here, right? A.K.A. Ray. Um, so the thing that wasn't a surprise to me was that he was actually canon reincarnated uh, I've been talking about this for the past few episodes and indeed I've been talking to a lot of you guys about this as well 
Uh, most people seem to think that he is actually the reincarnation of Annas' original you know, right-hand man, his swordmaster, etc., etc. And, you know, that would be a pretty good and pretty logical presumption to make. Now, the thing that I felt was always a little bit funny about this is exactly as Anna said, right? If if Rey was actually just one of Anna's subordinates, why the heck do we have to uh, maintain his identity to be a secret throughout these past episodes, right? Like, what what could that have? Um, what could that further impact? If it was really just a subordinate of of Anna's, well, fine. He's already on his side anyways. It literally doesn't matter, right? So the fact that his identity was still kept a secret after all this time gave me like major, major warning flags. Uh, and so yeah, now we see that it is indeed canon reincarnated. Now the one thing that I was definitely not expecting at all was the fact that he was the one who was behind all this. Um, uh, and trying to impersonate Annas' name, right? Like, holy shit. Um, and I think I, we can take a pretty good stab at why he did this. He was betrayed by the humans. He probably got disheart dis uh, disheartened by them. He probably got disappointed at them. He was like, no, F this shit. I'm, I'm out. And so he reincarnated himself as a demon. Um, I guess you could call him a fallen hero in this sense. So, and... You know, that's, that's actually some pretty big dedication on his part as well, right? Because he immediately did that uh, right after he was killed and, you know, reincarnated himself in the demon lands and then started taking over all the demon elders and whatnot, uh, impersonating Annas' name, building a reputation for himself, so on and so forth. And he's literally been biding his time for the past 2,000 years, just waiting until the wall falls and um, he's able to go exact his revenge on the humans. Well, is that revenge or not? I'm not quite sure. I think probably in the next episode what we're going to see is he's going to be like, all oh, humans are weak, are cowardly, um, you know, they are distrustful, deceitful, blah, 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 blah. They don't deserve to live in this world. We should let the demons completely annihilate them, right? I think that's probably what he's going to go after uh, for the next episode. And as for how it will all resolve, well, I would venture a guess and say Misa probably is going to play a big role in all this. Um, you know, the fact that she now has an actual relationship with with Rey, um, aka Canon, and um, and you know they might. Uh, anyways, I, especially considering that the next episode's title literally has something to do with love, like all you need is love. I, I can't quite remember, but something of that sort. You know, I'm I'm willing to guess that Misa is going to play a critical role in convincing canon to, you know, just chill out, man. Humans aren't all bad. We can talk this out, and so on and so forth. And so that's probably how that entire thing is going to be resolved. Um, and obviously, I'm not expecting canon, holy sword or not, to be able to defeat Anos. He wasn't able to do that 2,000 years ago. It's definitely not going to be able to do that now either. Um, now, the more interesting part is how, you know, how are they going to end this conflict, which has already been sprung, and also, you know, the aftermath of all this, like what continues on after this. So, I mean, the demon side would be relatively easy, right? We've got all the seven demon elder demons on the same side now, even for those who are uh, still skeptical of Annas, they're definitely not going to openly revolt against all of the uh, seven the seven demon emperors, right? So we can pretty much call it a wrap on the demon side. The human side, though, how exactly are they going to convince them? Like, even if they do destroy that that ask magic or whatever it is that's that's planting hatred into the humans, you know, how exactly are they going to? They're they're still being led by their leaders, right? And the leaders who are impersonating the hero canon. So is Ray going to step out and say, "I am the hero canon"? How is he going to prove that, right? So that is the. The biggest question I see going forward, how exactly they're going to resolve the conflict uh, from that aspect here. And then also, furthermore, next episode is the last episode here, right? And we are already getting the, the big reveal of who's impersonating Annas' name, you know, what happened 2,000 years ago, and who's the one calling the shots on the human side. So if we do manage to resolve all this, what what's left of the series so the light novel so far has i believe eight volumes already out and i'm i'm fairly certain that this is not covering eight volumes of material right so is it a fact that the anime is going for an original anime ending or is it a fact that 
um, you know, this also happens in the in the light novels as well, and they're just gonna pick up the story later on once this whole conflict is resolved. So the the, the title of you know Misfit of Demon King Academy that might literally only be like a beginning plot to to all this, but um, later on he does resume his identity as the the legal and um, the heralded Demon King of the Demons, uh, and then the story continues on there towards some other kind of development, right? I'm not really sure, and I guess we'll find out about that in the next episode, um, and see about that. But definitely, yeah, I'm just I'm just waiting to see how they resolve things on the human side and how they can continue the story going forward. So, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, there, you know, there are some other you know, minor stuff, I guess you could say, like the entire the entire story with Eleanor and whatnot. That didn't really make much sense to me, like saying that she was in charge of birthing or cloning these these you know emotionless clones in order to battle to do killing. But like I was like I was saying at that scene as well, killing what? You literally have a big wall dividing you guys for the past 2,000 years. You can have all the clones you want. You're not killing anything, right? Unless they're literally killing each of their own and trying to strengthen themselves that way or whatnot. So I, can, I couldn't really get that entire... Uh, you know, I, I couldn't really get that that point that Eleanor's trying to make and being all emotional and whatnot. Like, cloning guys and whatnot and uh, not giving them emotions. Okay, maybe I can sort of see how she would be distraught over that, but... Saying that you sent them to kill each other, I don't know. That that didn't really make much sense to me. Um, and so, but whatever, right? It, it's just it's just a setting. It's all in the past. And well, what's important now is that Anna's has to find a way to convince Canon, presumably with the help of Misa, and then finally convince the demons and convince the humans as well. We drop this pointless conflict. We can all live together. We're all one big happy family. Um. Oh hey, maybe, who knows, perhaps the wall is going to be raised once again? Ooh, that, that seems like a pretty interesting premise as well. Ah, but we'll see about that, right? In any case, I'll see you guys in the grand finale of the next episode. Stay tuned, and bye-bye.